feel like you get to the same point in PvZ against the mass gateway, and it's like, yeah, I got here, so fuck off. <laughs> Either you've built up to air, which is a massively less interesting portion of the matchup, or you really out multitask me, which, you know, is possible. <clears throat> I'm gonna be really sad if that ends up being the reason that Protoss players once again turtle and just try and get to air immediately. You must construct additional pylons. I mean, they can't really do that as much right now. But I'd be really sad if the lurkers once again were the wrench and the PBZ works. You have a try hard drone micro. You can say the same thing happens earlier where Protoss has a few disruptors in the house. Uh, no, I don't think those are actually comparable. And I think if you list the qualities of the two units, you would agree that they're not really comparable. Especially since Zerg has such a drastic counter to it. Yeah, Disruptors aren't siege units. They don't have an auto attack that just goes and goes and goes once they're burrowed, of course, but still. You have not enough minerals. <clears throat> and they're not particularly, uh, not particularly quick. Not that lurkers are particularly quick, but they're too quick for siege units with their speed burrow. It's kind of the argument. Probably should have tried to stop that gas from being taken. Hindsight 2020. Is that because tanks alone can be swarmed quickly, but lurkers can't? Yeah, uh, I think that plus uh, tank immobility has made them a. a well, okay, that's going to be a humongous gap. Shit. Has made them um, a well balanced unit. Resubscription received. Uh, Apparently you are doing something right, Captain. Ooh, I didn't go for the Stargate. You can already feel the ping affecting me. Get him. Heard of Bailey. Thank you for the 37 months. They aren't siege units? Uh, but siege units are. Or, fuck, but lurkers are. I'm just talking about disruptors. Certainly an endpoint which Z can't continue to dance as before. I think that's totally inaccurate. How many times do you watch pros get to disruptors and the Zerg player's like... Like, never. You see them dancing around, roly-poling in with banelings, trying to pounce on them, trying to get the big surround, trying to find them out of position, not paying attention. See, all that type of shit. And I'd say for the first, like, um, I don't know how to say, like, for the first few lurkers, I think Protoss versus Zerg is still really fun, watching the Protoss dance around the few lurkers. It's just when lurkers get to the count of, like, probably 12 plus, because then I think they can set some surrounded by spores and spines, and then be offensive with others. But I think it just makes it such a slow matchup. It's not the part of it that I love. That's all. You seek guidance. Glory to the day long. The stars align. You can only really uh dodge Zergo shots when there's a small number of them. Damn it, Oracle. And that's on me. How can I aid you? Easy to hit large mass lurkers in StarCraft 2 compared to Brood War. That I don't know about. I don't know enough about Brood War. We are of one. You must construct additional pylons. Let 
So nice. Just casually in the most precarious position. The weird thing about anything of Rude War is that general consensus is that Rude War the way is the way that it is because you have um Our window is so gonna attack me? I honestly can't tell. I'm here in the shadows. You have other things that are equally as overpowered. So yeah, I think the lurkers are more powerful, but it's kind of weird because the context of the game, what does that mean? Research complete. Okay, this is actually really difficult. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's like molasses. Okay, maybe something a bit easier than what I'm doing. You have not enough minerals. An ARD is here in the shadows. A little more A movie. Supply cost a bit higher. Eh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I am not even yet saying I need them to be nerfed. I'm just saying that they, uh, the design that they encourage, I guess, is what I'm a little disappointed in currently, in their current siege. I think siege units can be really fun. But... Okay. Where shall we mark the threads of. You must construct additional pylons. You have not enough minerals. You seek guidance. You have not enough minerals. I am here. Well, I was sufficiently confused. Kill the base. Not enough energy. I, the threads of fate lie in my observer, apparently. Beast. I am the void. Cold. 
yolo. Well done, stalkers. I feel like missing this observer is a really big deal, actually. Cool! Oh, there it is. I forgot I had a back base too. The same thing as my opponent on the map? That's so freaking weird. You going into Broodlords, bro? That's gonna hurt. Oh my god, it feels like it happens seconds after I actually tell it to do something. Of gas pink you have there. Oh uh, yeah. It is destined. We serve with we are I think he's gonna have a base over there, and he just never does. Well, I think this guy should run to the lurkers. And I'd be really scared. Lurkers in a hive, not to uh, only describe as old fashioned. That was a bit of a disaster. Old fashioned defense.
Holy shit. Yeah, that felt so bad. <clears throat> Fortunately, I do want to see what he, wanted, what he was planning on doing. Fortunately, it wasn't that great, but... Yeah, okay. He was kind of attacking me. He's like kind of dedicating, I guess. A little. I don't know. GG. A blinking on Australia.